Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about deep links and how you can exploit them. Essentially, deep links are used to interface your mobile app with your web app. So, you can specify certain schemas. As you can see, um, I've specified a schema for a new activity that I'm making and it takes the flag 10 schema um, in the host uh, b3nac.com. So now that I got this in my manifest um, and I have an intent filter specified, I can test this in various ways to see if it works and if it's exploitable. The other thing that needs to happen is in the activity there needs to be a way for the activity to intercept it. So that is also important to note. So now I'm going to start the VM so that we can so I can show you guys how you can test these and exploit them. Um, so now that the app is started, let's go back. Wait for it to reload. Okay, so as you can see, it's not even on my main my main activity. Um, so this actually it works in the same uh, the same way that it exported activity works, and you invoke it, except for use a different command. So the first way that you can you can test these is using the adb shell command. Um, so I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Let me move this, or I want this to show at the same time that this is showing. Okay. Not unable to resolve intent. Oh, that's because it's not the... So this has to match the schema exactly. Um, so I gotta change this to flag ten, and I gotta change this to b3nac.com, and it should work. And boom, there we go. Um, that's how you test it for activities with ADB. Uh, another way to do it is with an HTML file. So. That's where the whole web app to mobile application interface comes into play is you can actually just make a document like a test POC like this and this will invoke it remotely and locally on your t on your phone. So um, I'm going to do ADB, ADB push um, test POC html and I think it's SD card downloads like that and it looks like that was correct so now if I go back and I exit out of here I can just exit out of this application the entire way I'll exit out of this too just so we can so I can show you so go to files Test POC, HTML. Um, you can open it with you can open it with whatever browser, and it's actually kind of small. It's uh, there we go. Now I can scroll up, scroll over, click on this should work, and it will load the deep link from the mobile application. So this results in a lot of possible exploitation um, techniques uh, based on if this was a sensitive, if this displayed sensitive data or return sensitive data. Uh, so let's go over a couple reports that actually show this. So this one's actually more recent where Canal found a a deep link that would auto make it so if somebody clicked on this link 
the user would auto follow whatever user ID was in there. Um, and that's a good uh, example of like cross site request forgery that, you know, because it's doing, it's doing something on, on the user's behalf that the user does not want to do. And how he found it was in the Android manifest. I want to note that this is the Android manifest won't tell you all the the possible the possible um, actions for for this uh, for this scheme for the app schema. Um, it will tell you what schemas are accepted and where to start looking. And the next one is by Baggy Pro and what he so what he did he found a he found a deep link that you could use to import your own HTML page so this is his POC H, uh, POC page in an S3 bucket and what he did to show that get grab user that that method was um, leaking data was he actually put he wrote the stolen data from that method to his document so it's that that's a super effective POC to show like the triazure and the company that hey like since I can import my own HTML remotely um, this is what can happen. So the the user's data was read in and displayed on the page with the Android view. Um, and it shows in here that is an Android Android view with a web app interface that um, was using add JavaScript interface here. So this is something you want to look for when you're grepping through is uh, if they use add JavaScript interface in an insecure way. Um, so yeah, there's like a ton of different, based on the schema and based on the URLs that it accepts, you could find different ways to exploit, um, deep links. Uh, for example, if the, if remote imports don't work, I recently found that I could do an LFI to destroy a file with a deep link which was pretty interesting and awesome at the same time.